this is Mr. Peterson. Here's a real quick screencast on how to do a couple of things. Number one, how to get an average of a column of numbers and how to turn a column of numbers into a graph. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is we want all these numbers. Yeah, you could add them all up, 45 plus 50 plus 47, and so You can do that on your calculator, or you can just get the computer to do it for you. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to click on C2, that first cell. Now I'm going to take my cursor down to the bottom, and that's where my next one is going to be, but I'm going to go shift. I'm pushing on the shift button, and I'm going to, then I'm going to depress my mouse or click on the trackpad. Okay, so now I've highlighted all of that data. Now I'm going to go up to the formula bar, and I want the average. So there's my, it's going to give me an average. I hit enter, or I click somewhere else. Now it has an average. Now, instead, I could do the same thing again, but in this time, I'm just going to notice I have these, this little blue box, and I get these crosshairs. So just like that, now I've taken that formula from this cell, and I've adjusted it to this cell, which is really pretty cool, kind of a time saver. Okay, now what I'm going to do is shift-click. I'm going to make uh, a bar graph. No, don't do that. I didn't want to do that. Click, click. Copy, paste, there we go. Now I'm going to do the same for over here. Because I, I don't want to put all of those numbers in there. I've just figured out the average. I just want to use the average. Now over here is my formatting choices for when I'm going to paste it. I really just want to paste the value, so just the numbers. Okay, so now I've got those numbers in here. So here are averages of heads and averages of tails. Those are okay, but do, can we turn this into a graph that makes some sense? Okay, so now I've highlighted those. Now I'm going to go to the graphing function. I'm going to insert a chart. Um, and here we've got uh, a chart. Now it has it has a range. I don't know if I'm happy with that range. don't know if I'm happy with that range at all. Hmm. Well, anyway, we can, we can, we can figure that out later. Uh, I click on this. I can change the chart, chart title. So the chart title is going to be the effect of blank on blank. So you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. Like what affected what? What's the independent variable? What's the dependent variable? I can also label the horizontal axis. So horizontal axis is, what is that? Heads or tails, right? And the vertical axis is what? Uh, number of coin flips. Okay. Like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's how you make a bar graph.